is Manus Gaming and welcome back to a new video. So today, today we are going to be taking a look at the Tuners and Outlaw DLC. Before entering this video, if you just could take two seconds out of, the, out of the day to drop a like and subscribe, then that would be awesome because I want to get this video out there on YouTube so everyone can see it and will know a little bit more about the maybe upcoming DLC. So the Tunis and Outlaw trailer came out for a few weeks ago and have already got over 1 million views as I will leave a link to it down in the description. And the petition have over 40,000 signatures as I also will leave a link to it down in the description. The Bike DLC's petition have over 20,000 signatures. So the Tunis and Outlaw DLC have 2 times more signatures than the Bike DLC have right now. The Tunis and Outlaw is really high recommended because of all the charges you got like being a cop, making street races and making cool car meetups and much more that I'm going to be talking about soon in this video. So first off we got the police officer that you can play. So as we see right here on the screen, we got a picture of a guy and his car at the, poli at the police board. This prompts me that they have to find him or her and kill the person. What this does is make you have a bounty on you in probably 24 hours of game time, where the cops have to kill you or arrest you and then get the money. What probably is going to happen is the person who got the bounty can't seem cops on the map to make it a little bit more realistic. You get the bounty on you if you kill a man or rock stone or make a not big crime. The police officer will get a signal on the map or a little sensor at the top of the call on the screen where they may be saying kill the player to earn money and RP. And then there will be a little part on the map where it's showing you where the person is. The part will probably only be there two seconds, like in the hunt the beast, where every time the beast kills the target, then there will be a little purple part on the map on where the beast is, and that could maybe be the same thing, every time you make a crime, then there will be a little point on the map of where he is, that would be really cool if they added into the game. So next up we got races, so we saw on the trailer there was two different races, drift race and drag race, it could be so cool if they add some races into the game, like did with the stunt DLC, that also had a bunch of new cars. If they add some drag races and some drift races into the job list, that would be so awesome. There could be also drag races and drift races in the free mode, where some people showed up on a highway to make drag races, where other unknown players can show up and then they can race. It would be so boring if they only is showing one online player up. So they can maybe add some people like Lamar or some normal people who are walking on the street to come at night time to race against other people. So in this little clip, we think that the Santa's customized, but this man is going on the garage door, and when he get in, there's a whole bunch of vehicles, like cars and bikes, and there's this little customized shop where you can tune your cars and bikes. I personally, I personally hope that this would be added to the game, where there's some small locations where you can place your car and then other unlocked players can come and join, like a little car meetup. If you have seen Fast and Furious, then you know in the Fast and Furious 1, they had they have a little place where they have their cars and fix them and tune them. And they could be so awesome if they add that into the brand that's out to online 5. So let's talk about the new police weapons. So as we see right here on the screen, there's this little police officer with a car taser who's shooting on a car. It's also if it's come to the game, but the problem is that it's only the police who will get the car taser. Of course it will be a little bit boring for the online players who get shot with the taser and got killed or arrested. So there's a lot of new cars in this DLC trailer. There's a car who looks pretty much like the Comet. So the prices of these cars would probably be pretty expensive and you'll need a lot of money. I don't think it would be so expensive like buy a DLC or finance and fillery, where you had to buy expenses office, new cool cars, warehouses, clubhouses, and cool new expensive bikes. This DLC has almost everything that I think GTA 5 needs, and me and my friends have all have been waiting for this update in a long time, and I know why this update is so wanted. 
because of the new thing that you maybe can play. Take a look at the police picture here again. If you look a little bit closer at the police board, you will see a little picture of a girl with her car and then it says Bounty $783,650. So that's mean if you kill a person as a cop, then you will get the amount of money. The more people you kill, the more money that's coming out of Bounty, and more police will get after you. So not to cheat, like if you friend a police officer, and then you just make a crime so the police can kill you and get the bounty. Then the police will respawn at the police station with police clothes and have to find you and kill the person. So let's talk about the car meetups. I have never seen a car meetup where it didn't end up in an explosion or someone shooting other people and after that just destroyed the whole car meetup. So if they made a car meetup where nobody can shoot or destroy anything, then there was a circle and in that circle you can't use guns or destroy the cars. They could add a random guy sending message out to one at session when I say car meet up in for example Frank's garage where I can hold your car in different parking spots and random normal guy, people can pass by and look and take photos of the cars. There could also just be normal people that can show up with the cars and then just walk around and look at all the other cars. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash the like and subscribe if you don't already have done that. Make sure to do it and peace out.